Yes, Joey Gase. Joey Gase gets himself a new ride. Joey Gase, formerly drove for MBM Motorsports in the Cup Series, will now be driving for Rick Ware Racing. Um, it's not like a, it's not like a huge step up. It's not like he's going to a team that can potentially compete for like top 15s, top 20s, like Corey LaJoy and Go Fast Racing, something like that. But he's going to a different team, a different opportunity for him. And you know me, I'm a Joey Gase fan, so I got to talk about it. And uh, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for Joey Gase getting another opportunity somewhere else. I'll, I'll be interested to see how he does in it. Um, hopefully he can eventually get to a better ride. I really do hope so. I hope he can get to a decent ride, uh, get himself a shot at a big, big name car, like a Gibbs or a Hendrick or something like that. Work his way up. Um, same with the lower level series. If he can get in some solid equipment in those series as well. But here's the announcement. Rick Ware racing welcomes NASCAR veteran, Joey Gase into the 2020 NASCAR cup series lineup, starting at the season opener at the Daytona 500. He'll be at one of the entries. It doesn't give which number. I'm excited to have Joey Gase join the Rick Ware Racing family in 2020. Joey and his family are great people whose values align perfectly with Rick Ware Racing. I'm looking forward to growing our team and having a great season next year, commented team owner uh, Rick Ware. Yeah. Powerful stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited too. I'm excited for him. But uh, Joey Gase, if you didn't know, just had twins. So congratulations to you, Joey Gase, uh, to you and your wife and your new children. Uh, best of luck to you with that. And I uh, hope you get some good rides. Uh, no projections on it, but I hope he does well. I hope he does well for those cars, uh, can compete to what they're able to compete with. Uh, maybe even survive Daytona or Talladega could get himself a top 15, top 10. Uh, we've seen a lot of crazy things happen. We've seen some crazy guys get up there. Uh, best of luck to him. I hope I hope he has the best year ever and then uh, can continually build that momentum, get himself a better ride, get himself a better car. Also, um, if you did not hear the news, Junior Johnson passed away earlier today. NASCAR announced a uh, Hall of Famer, all-time legend. Uh, was in the first ever NASCAR Hall of Fame class. So uh, rest in peace, Junior Johnson. And then uh, obviously uh, our... All the NASCAR community, all the racing community, our thoughts and prayers are with his family as they mourn the loss of him, but also remember his life. Um, other stuff outside of that, can't really think of anything. If you haven't checked my Twitter, I don't think I've actually tweeted it out yet, but sometime next week, going to do the movie review, going to try to catch it a second time this week. Uh, some Star Wars, ooh, Star Wars, woo, love Star Wars, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. To talk about that, finally, I got a lot to talk about, a lot to say. It's going to be a lot, let me tell you, but um, I'm excited for it. I might, I don't know what I'm going to do for that, but I'm really excited for it, so I'll get ready for that. Um, nothing else I can think of, so thank you for watching this video. Once again, we're like seven or eight subscribers away from 500. That's halfway to 1,000, so let's get to that. Yeah, Joey Gaze! Woo!